Well, for three years now, our newsroom staff has gone out to the Bemidji JC's Water Carnival to battle it out over who's the best when it comes to the Midway Games. Our Josh Peterson brings us this year's installment of the Battle of the Midway. It's down to two in the newsroom in the annual competition of News versus Sports in the third edition of the Battle of the Midway. We kick off by shooting some hoops. Our A.J. Feldman's obsession with watching the Houston Rockets has paid off, giving him the skills and the first win. Next up, we head to the darts. Oh, oh. Sherelle Moore is no match for the sports director's fancy legwork when it comes to throwing darts. A.J. walks away with the win, leading the competition to zip. Sherelle needs to win the next fire truck race to stay in the competition. Sherelle's truck races to the finish line first and claimed her first victory over sports. Next we see just how good their pitching arms are in the block game. Moore is back for more with another win, knocking over more blocks on the platform than AJ. Bringing us a tied game. To settle this match, we head to the duck pond to see who will be the king or queen of the carnival. It's definitely not part of an S. I think it's like part of a large. After multiple attempts, Sherelle Moore lucks out grabbing a small prize duck with AJ grabbing a large, keeping the crown in the undefeated sports department in the Battle of the Midway. Let the record show that on this, July 3rd, 2018, I am king of the carnival. And if you'd like to test your skills at the Midway, you have th through tomorrow to do so. The water carnival wraps up tomorrow night with the red, white, and boom fireworks spectacular at dusk. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.